What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 10 of our Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Blind Let's Play. We are continuing. We're in Route 4, and we're gonna, we figure, given how many times they told us that this is exactly how you get to Paniolo Town, and there it is, yet again, right on the sign, we know that, uh, this is how we get to Paniolo Town. So let's find out what kind of Pokemon we're dealing with here. Uh, run around in the grass a little bit, see if there's anything interesting. Uh, a little Yes. Oh, you know we're getting a little pop. You know it. Yes. Little pop. Cutie pop. Love it. Lillipup, Herdier, and Stoutland in that evolution chain. And so you already know that we're going to nickname this Lillipup Guinness. Because he's going to become a Stout. <laughs> but we're actually not going to use Lillipup. Lillipup is very cute, but just a normal type. Let's see what else we got here. Battle numero dos. Picky peck. We actually haven't caught one of these yet. <laughs> so here's the problem. Picky peck. Great Pokemon. Becomes two cannon. Very cool. Um, but I don't really. Okay, I don't want multiple flying types. Um, my real issue here is that Cha is my only false swipe user, so I can't really replace him as my flying type. So, um, I mean, you know we're going to name it Pack Pack because... Because I know some Tagalog... And that's a bad word in Tagalog. Kind of. It's not a bad word. It's not a bad word, but it's not something you should name a Pokemon. We're going to send you to the box for now. I love you, Pecky Peck, but no no dice. Not today. Let's get a couple more battles in here. See a few more Pokemon, and then we'll be on our merry, tiny little ways. Another lily pup. We're skipping this. Back in the grass. Is there a snake in the grass? Oh, please be a snake. That would make it such a great... No, it's just another peck peck. All right, one more battle. If it's not a unique Pokemon, we're going to keep moving forward. And drum roll. Grubbin! Well, it is a unique Pokemon. But we're not going to catch it because it would appear to be uh, not really all that much new stuff going on here. You don't have to ring the bell if our eyes meet, I'll come. It's Isn't it a bit late in the game of this? We're in Route 4 already. We've already beaten a trial. You think you still need to remind us that if you make eyes that we're going to fight? I guess it kind of it's more of a bell joke because he's a bellhop. Someone dings the bell, you hop up and help him. But he just got a, a Fomantis, which is the first time we've seen a Fomantis, which is great. I'm going to kill it with Aerial Ace. Buh bye bell bye bell hop ba bell you know, I'm not giving you a tip. You're giving me a tip. You're giving me 560 Poke Yen. Exactly. Um... Oh, look at that little cute little Fermantis dancing around over there. Uh, let's let's pop a repel because we've sort of we did our due diligence, we did our search at the beginning of the route, and now I think it's best that we explore this place for all it's got to offer. Just to say, to grab this item, I knew it. I knew there would be an item over there. Uh, can we go to the right? Is this the way we're supposed to go? Too conspicuous. Too easy. 
Give me one harder. We got a trainer here. Nope. Just something about an overlook. So there's an item over there. A trainer and an item over here. Party over here. He's a collector, which is to say he collects Pokemon. Thank you for telling me your life story. I very much appreciate it. What's your middle name? I'd like to know that also, Brian. Can I call you Brian? Or I have to call you Collector? Munchlax. I love Munchlax. Alright, Chrome Dome learned Spark. I picked up a Revive. They're giving me a lot of Revive items in this game. Uh, is that a trainer over here? Ah, uh, no. And I hit no instead of yes. Everything I wanted to happen didn't happen. He rely on apps for traveling accommodations? Is that what he said? Is that an Airbnb plug? Regular Kanto, uh, a little Rattata goes down. And we defeat Sightseer Scotty. He didn't see any recommendations for the Rattata. Obviously not. Uh, let's do a little um, moving and shaking here, though. Cha is is tearing up here let's move chrome dome up i want chrome dome to get a little more experience i really want to use chess but um i gotta be careful with with using her because she's still really weak right now uh that sightseer lost her boyfriend this is kind of a joke i think the uh, the people who made this game the adults who, who worked on this are joking that uh, kids these days are always like here on their phone so we never look around at the world around us. So even though she's right next to her boyfriend, she can't see him. Lost in battle, so maybe not like really lost, you know. Um, I made a mistake because I taught I taught Spark to ooh adrenaline orb, nice. I taught Spark to uh, a Chrome Dome. That's a physical move. Chrome Dome is kind of. Uh, not a physical attacker, as it were. I think I'm gonna get rid of Chrome Dome. I think, I mean, I like the steel typing, but his stats are just not good enough, and that kind of makes it a waste that he has all the. Pikachu Valley! Pikachu. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing! Hold on. I'm gonna up the volume here. So we can hear all the Pikachus Pikachuing. Welcome to Pikachu Valley! That's what the Pikachu are saying anyway. You get this special Pikachu themed present to celebrate your first vis visit to Pikachu Valley. Special Pikachu frame to decorate your photos? Oh, okay. Is that it? Is that the only reason I came here? It was an item. A magnet? Not bad. Alright, so we're going to dance with this guy again. don't I still don't understand what I'm doing do I have to do every single option turn right turn left stare peekaboo change positions repeat Looks like it says it's quite happy when I stare at it. But I still don't understand. 
I mean, clearly it likes me, but... Oh my god. So... I can play with every single one of them? Do you want to try our Pikachu Professor quiz? Sure I do. Okay. Question one. By what part of its body can you tell if it's male or female? Oh man, this is hard. I don't know, the tail? What are the particular parts of Pikachu's cheeks called? Uh, electric sacks? Uh, what do you need? You need a thunderstone. Pikachu to write you is a thunderstone. How is a shiny different different from more common? They're uh, orange. Which would make its coloring darker. Pikachu can evolve from... That's right, Pichu. But who was the first person to discover the existence? Are you kidding me? Um... Pichu would have been... Not gold silver. So... Was it gold silver? It's not oak. Let's go with elm. I think it's elm. Yes! Yes! It was elm. I got five out of five. Yes! A Pikachu shirt and a Pikachu cap. Come try again sometime. Wait, and answer the exact same questions? Is that a trick? So no new questions yet. There's a slowpoke over there! I think I need to be able to surf to do... Oh, there's a Pikachu over here. So do I... I don't want to play with literally everyone. I mean, I do, but I my life <laughs> what's Pikachu Valley lots of Pikachu like to gather some of the Pikachu from this valley have even gone on to become stars one of the greatest stars is enjoying a relaxing vacation in the Hano Grand Resort right now I hear <laughs> oh my god I can't go in there because every time I do a Pikachu runs out and stops me Oh my god, it's too good. Alright, let's go. No, one more, one more. No, 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 no. We're gonna no one more. One more. One more. Three of them. Is that Okay, it's just a it's just a okay, it's just a cameo y kind of thing. Okay. Okay, we're good. I think we've had our fill. We got our t shirt, our cap. The two lovebirds are together again in peaceful harmony. Uh, I need to use a repel so I can avoid the garbage of Route 4. Huh? What's that? When looking at your Pokemon summary page, you can uh, arrange the moves. Yeah, if you move it. Okay. Why is there a little space here? It's conspicuous. Oh, it's very loud now, I realize. I turned it up because Pikachu is going Pikachu, and I wanted to, I wanted to hear it go Pikachu loudly and clearly. Energy root, so more things that make your Pokemon mad at you. And we got a little cook, saucy a soups on. Talking about Captain Mallow in the ladle. Cook Ernie. Why do all cooks have goatees? Good question, me. I'm at that weird point in the game where Pokemon start leveling really, really slowly. And, um... 
Oh, no, you know what? It's not that. It, I think this game introduced the feature that uh, if the Pokemon are too much lower level than you, you get... Um... What? I was just spamming A and there's a big mushroom there. Uh, Pokemon, um, they get a lot less experience if the po if the enemies are lower level than them. So it's encouraging me to try out some new Pokemon, not just keep leveling up the same guys I already got. Pa Snubble. I think there's a battle with Howl here. Yeah, there is. Woo! Hey, Geo, glad I ran into you so we could see who's stronger now. I got a Z-Ring for my Gramps, too. After making it through his grand trial, having a battle in a place like Paniola Town feels like a real old-fashioned Western showdown or something, right? This is so cool. Though, if I were real honorable cowboys, we've got to make sure our teams are healthy first. That's very big of you, Hal. My Pokemon are fine for the most part. So see what he's going to lead with. I'm leading with uh, Chrome Dome. All right, team. Torcat and Pikachu and everybody, you ought to be bursting with energy after eating a pile of my mom's special pancakes. So let's show this newbie what Alola's got. Oh, my God. Pancakes sound so good right now. Oh, my God. Guys... <laughs> This is gonna be the last episode you get and you can thank how for that one the, not last one ep last one ever the last one I'm gonna release today because how made me want pancakes and now I need to go get pancakes They sell pancakes cheaper for cyber Monday. Um, I should not stay in here against a Torah cat with chrome dome his garbage defense and uh, Fire type is super effective against me. So let's just um Let's switch into a little P and tank this hit. Why am I so low in the camera? I mean, I guess I'm dead center of the camera, but yeah, I'll eat that. Nice fang. Torah cat. All right, we'll just stick, stick it clean. Water gun. He's got a scratch. He's going for that generic. beauty and then we'll finish him off with an aqua jet just to make sure that he doesn't get a uh, another scratch off on this because even if the aqua the aqua jet was the play there because even if it wasn't it crit i don't think the crit matter but even if i didn't kill him there it was the same situation he would have gotten a scratch off i would have water gunned him and killed him or i would have aqua jetted him failed to kill him taken the scratch and aqua jetted a second time and done it anyway so Acrobatics for Bugnitude, you know it. Acrobatics is such a strong move. It's like a... Yeah, it's 110 power if you're not holding an item. Crazy. Uh, so we got Spark, which is good for when he becomes Charge a Bug. Mud Slap, which is a weak move. And we don't really need the um, early game stat boosting, dropping, etc. is super huge for taking down like really hard guys. Um, but I don't really need this now. Uh, so what are we doing? Uh, he's gonna send in Pikachu. Obviously, I, I got a switch. I can't stay in here um, I should turn on I'm gonna turn on to make it a little harder I'm gonna turn on battle set mode instead of switch mode and I'm gonna turn up the speed I'm gonna do that after this battle with how so I don't really know why I did this actually cuz I don't really have anything for Pikachu why did I do this? This is stupid. Let's just pop a light screen off and then get out of here. Quick attack? No, it's not going to do anything. Who can take this on? Pups definitely can. Pups won't have a problem at all. He's got four Pokemon. So I'm going to try and avoid using two of them. Uh, to the best of my ability. Chess is... Definitely going to be one of the ones I leave out. So I'm stuck with Chrome Dome, Lil P. Uh, let's bring in Pups for now. Pups honestly might be able to finish out this fight. Pups is a beast. And behind a light screen. Look at that. That did zero damage. And I have work up. So yeah, let's boost and win this game. What happens if I Z boost? Electro Ball? You're not that much faster than me. Yep, see that did the same damage as Quick Attack. Um, I want to know what 
Z workup does. I don't get it. Uh, Z power effect is attack up. I, mean, I guess we could learn together. Yeah, let's learn together. I, I don't know what Z workup does. It might be like double boosts the attack, so two stages of attack, one stage of special attack. No, it's literally the exact same move. Wow. Take that me. Alright, well I'm double boosted, so I should be able to take out this Pikachu in one hit. Yup. And I didn't get staticked. Excellent. And now that I'm in and boosted, I really just don't see a way that he he takes me down. He's got Noibat. Um, this is my only attack <laughs> on Pups right now, is Headbutt. And I'm so boosted. Uh, Howl's got some really fast Pokemon, I'm noticing. Uh, Torcat's not that fast, but Pikachu, Noibat, he's got an Eevee. Um, well, let's just finish off this fight. Eevee's not, you know, particularly fast. It's got a lot of, but they, you know, quick attack on Pikachu, quick attack on Eevee. What's he going to turn that Eevee into? It's got a fire type. It's got an electric type. Maybe he does Vaporeon? I mean, I guess he could do Umbreon or Espeon. There's no reason he couldn't do one of those. Man, that was some kind of battle. Torcat and everybody all looked like they had a blast too. Nrawr. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should. Right then. Here, I'll share a bit of my good luck with you, Geo. Dire hit. You know I'm selling that. Uh-oh. No, Mr. Phone. You have to stop for now. I actually ended up taking that call. Sorry, guys, but I'm back. Um... You know how the totem Pokemon are all, like, surrounded by some aura or power? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. Okay, so they're just teaching you about how crits go through stat boosts. You know, Pokemon battles are just, like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're doing it, right? Anyway, I'm heading off to Paniola Ranch. Thanks, Hal. You go on out to that ranch. Z the smell of this area is very distinct, don't you think? Yeah, sure. What you got? Town developed with our Pokemon. I was checking to see if there's anything behind there. If you clear Kiawe's trial, then you can ride on the back of a real Charizard. Oh my god, you know it. You know it. Magmar! Whoa! I need to catch one of those for one of the quests. This guy's got two of them. Share. Share your wealth. Magmar knows when to use Ember, Flamethrower, or Fire Blast to get the strength of the fire just right. Super helpful when I'm cooking. Good for you. Burn. Uh, that's a sticker. Ooh! Professor Oak wants to talk to you. Zzzt. Oh, why hello there. It's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some Pokemon stickers. You should come stop by here, here beach. I said Pokemon stickers. I meant totem stickers, but you guys, you guys know what I meant. Uh, no repel needed here because we're exploring this tiny little ranch town. Sticker. Was this a doorway to a to a, like a balcony? No, it's a weight room and a bedroom mixed together. He's snoozing. Distinct whiff of sweat. Yeah, because there's a gym right here. Another door. Leading to like a million magmars. This is a really cool area. 
a quick ball. <laughs> a magmar pulled out a nice toasty quick ball from, well, somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. This game is too good. And they're tracking me. Oh, garbage can. No, oh, man. The hat on a cactus. This house is incredible. Just the best. Excellent. Mill tank. Can I buy a bunch of uh, milk? Hooray! Free moo moo milk! Come again tomorrow for more free milk. What? I wasn't even looking for the revive. I was trying to grab that sticker. There's a revive in there, guys. <laughs> oh, look at that magnemite of yours. It weighs less than 110 pounds. Then it shouldn't take too much damage, even if you hit it with a move like Grass Knot. Check weight like that. Okay. But, like... But, like, does he give me something if I give him a big... He didn't say he did. Team Skull! You leave that Vulpix alone. Yo, yo, Vulpix. Give me that bottle cap. Please stop. What you looking at? What's this Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just going to put it to better use. That's all. You there, do you think you could be help? Or do you think you could help? Yeah, let's take them on. You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Skull. Mm. Come on, double battle. There's two of you. Two of you, you should be double battling me. Double battle. Nope, still same dude. Team Skull Grunt, one Pokemon. Patata, a lowland style. Standing up on his two legs with his twizzly little mustache. Alright, Chrome Dome. I really need you to learn not a physical attack. Oh, I got a crit. Nah. Beautiful. You've got a piece of me, and I guess I shouldn't have messed with you. Hmm. Certainly not Team Skull Grunt. It's all your fault. Just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. You. Yo, you got lucky, Vulpix. Don't count on people to help you next time. Oh, thank goodness everything's going to be alright now. Am I going to play with the Vulpix? <laughs> Crew! Oh dear, what's wrong? It would make this old lady happy if you'd come back tomorrow, too. What? Do I need to come here every day? So I can go fishing in that little hole. Um... Back in the day when there's nothing here, not even this town, blah, 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 Pokemon, something, something. <laughs> that was a horse noise, and that's not a horse. Snapper. Bah. Any of the buildings? Anything I can explore here? Anything I can do? Grab? Chat? Anyone want to talk? Be my friend? What's happening? What are you guys doing? Pinola Ranch. Flies up ahead. Apparently folks been riding on Tauros. I can ride on Tauros. Here, maybe you give me something if I show you a Tauros. Nope. Alright, let's enter here, see what's going on. Anything fun? Anything fresh? Like, what's going on? Can I get you started with? Uh, how about some coffee? No, I don't want to, I don't want to give you money because I don't even know what your stuff does. Mirror. That's the guardian watching. Yeah. Folks at Paniola Ranch make all those big ramps in the fields. Top Pokemon help build strong hips and legs. 
And you are going to sell me X attacks, aren't you? Repeat ball, timer ball, and net ball. I actually really like timer ball. Back in the day, that was how I caught the Reggies. Uh, they used to be... I swear I've never had a more difficult time catching a Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon. They are the bane of catching Pokemon. I, I really do declare. Like there are, I, it's, honestly, it's miserable. All right, let's keep it going. Gonna head up here, California way. Got an item there. Someone waving. Everyone works on the ranch. We're on the ranch. Loves a good Pokemon battle. Granny over here. Eat well, sleep well, and it's time for a proper battle. Speaking of sleep well. Hi, Granny. <laughs> Madame Elizabeth and her carbink. Beautiful. Get. Magnet bombed. Thank you, Madame, for all the money. And you used a full restore in your car bank, but I was two hit KO in that little thing, so you already know that's not going anywhere. Uh, Peniola Ranch. This gentleman. What's going on? You gotta be a trial goer, right? Got a good sense of time, and the captain's actually here, so come on. Hmm? Pourquoi? Mill tank. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo milk from Paniola Ranch is the best. So rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. Mmm. Taste can't even be described. Oh, by the way. Since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll ask you a little favor. Stoutland, yes. See, Stoutland can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're riding Stoutland, press B to use the Stoutland search. That's what it's all about. Get up there and try it. These are the kind of stuff lying around waiting for you to find it. And Stoutland will bark louder than closer it gets to the buried items in the ground. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Booklet Hill. My friend Lana is up there. So say hi to her for me if you see her. Cool. Let's go ride Stoutland and have a sniff, huh? Yeah, let's do it. No. I wanted to set this to... There we go. Moo Moo Milk. Hmm. But he saw something before. Excellent. Moo moo moo. There's a sticker over there. I can't get it because I don't have a fishing rod. Come on, you tell me there's nothing over there? Oh. Oh. Ba -woo -ba -woo -ba -war. I wouldn't tease that one. If you do, he'll buck and kick you. Taurus are generally known as spirited Pokemon, but this fellow is pretty feisty even for a Taurus, but I guess it's not that surprising considering he's new to the ranch. I'd like him to train to become a ride Pokemon, but I can't even put him through his paces if he bucks at every single thing like this. I guess we'll need the mistress's skill for this one. The Mistress. The Mistress of Paniola Ranch, of course. She can get even the most unruly Toro snapped right into line. Right then, it's time we call the Mistress. Nod in agreement. Ah, 
Because she is the mistress of the ranch. Mill tank. Moo moo. One roar from Mill tank and even the most ornery Taurus is instantly as quiet as a little litten. Mill moo. Moo moo moo. Marar. Moo. Hoof. Moo. Marar. Moo. Well, they do say the stronger the Taurus is, the harder it is to control. It looks like even the mistress is having a tough time with this one. Maybe if he burns off a bit of excess energy, it might be easier to bring him and heal. What do you think? You can take him on in a battle? Sure. Don't hold back. Go all out. I want to catch it, though. May I? Oh, it's a trainer. It's a trainer battle. That's why. So, they did that, so I'm not going to be able to catch it. It's too bad. Taurus is boss. Um, pop off a T wave here. I almost switched. That's hilarious. But uh, I'm gonna T wave it instead. Uh, because if I'm gonna try and do this with, I, I want to get one attack off. But if I'm gonna try and do this with Chrome Dome, I want to make sure that I'm getting first hits. And um, ooh, rage. Fortunately, I resist that, but if I keep attacking him, I'm just going to make it stronger and stronger. Ah, but it broke his chain. Another reason that paralysis is great. Double para. Is it my birthday? Not until December. Or an attack. Eesh. Taurus is strong. Little P dings 2 2. Ah, refreshing. That was cool. Barrr, I worked up a sweat and Taurus is pretty satisfied too. Moo, 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 moo. <laughs> Even Taurus couldn't stand up to the combined powers of the pair of you and Miltank. Thanks, sweetie. What? <laughs> Thanks to you, we can finally start in this fellow's poker ride training, so I hope you'll take the scope lens from me. Heck yes. You know I will. Couldn't I have caught a Murkrow earlier? I could have go Sniper Honchcrow spec. Aw, oh, boo. Anything else lying around here? Who are you? Rump. Are we done in this? Yeah, we're done. And we step out of that area with a nice little Stoutland, and there's an item somewhere over here. Boom. Soda pop. That's a good item. Heals for like 70 or something like that. More stickers. Uh, I kind of want to use a repel. We got a trainer up here. Mudbray! Mudbray's so cute. He's got those eyes that make him look like he's cross-eyed or something like that, but. X-Defense, man, they were really, I know that they put all these items out here because I have a, a, a Stoutland. So they're doing that on purpose. I get that, but man. And then we get a chance to catch a Mudbray of our own. Mud Bray! And it was the second one too, they SOS'd on me. Usually the second ones are stronger and have a higher chance of being shiny. Uh, but, yeah, you know what? We might use Mud Bray. I'm kind of feeling it. I, I feel like I'm making a change in our team. Mud Bray, you kid. Kid was one of my favorite uh, 
characters from the game Chrono Cross, the second in the uh, Chrono series after Chrono Trigger. Uh, but yeah, let's add them to the party. Who are we swapping for? I'm kind of losing interest in Chrome Dome, to be honest. Because even if you... Even when he's like final evolved form, it's like he has a steel move, an electric move, and then you usually give him a hidden power, and then some kind of utility. I'm not feeling that right now. Um, and plus, we got Bugnitude, who's going to become electric type soon enough, so we got options. Alright, Paralyzed Heal, very cool. Um, let's do a quick check and see if there's any other Pokemon in these bushes here before we pop another Repel. Fortunately, we were able to run away from that one, but we got to move Kid because he's in slot one, and that's no good. That's no bueno. Of all the things that that is and isn't, bueno is certainly one of them. Uh, we can lead with Bugnitude for a little bit. Give a little bit more of a look around here. See if there's any other Pokemon worth, uh, worth grabbing. Miltang! Now we're talking! Now we're in business! Do I want Miltank instead of Pups? I think I do. I think I do want Miltank instead of Pups. Miltank learns Milk Drink, which innately makes her better as a uh, a tank as far as playthrough is concerned. Being able to heal yourself is huge. Ooh, gonna be tough to actually catch this guy though. Go figure, I crit the mill tank, and so I couldn't catch it. But, Bugnitude's evolving, so there is, you know, there's always silver lining. Mill tank's actually uh, kind of hard to catch. Um, I had, it, keep, it keeps using milk drink, so anytime I, I weaken it, and it's, it's a hard catch rate also, so. <sighs> unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. I, I really wanted mill tank. It's like a better fur fro. In my opinion, it's better it's cleric duties, you know. Furfur is more of a pivot. Doesn't have reliable recovery. Same attack stat, they're both pretty fast, but um No tanks a little tankier on the physical side. Furfur a little more on the special side. Furfur is decent defense because of uh fur coat, but I'd rather have mill tank. All right, let's learn charge. Actually, let's not learn charge. I don't need charge. That's fun. I love charge a bug. Oh my god, so good. All right, what we got? A few more trials here. I want to find something. Something interesting. What's Rotom saying to me? He said, you know what this calls for? But then he didn't say anything after that. <gasps> Mareep! Ah! Oh! And I just got rid of- Oh my goodness. This- This is perfect. I just got rid of Chrome Dome. I now have Bugnitude, but Bugnitude's not going to evolve again for a long time. And so I can uh, switch Bugnitude out for Mareep, who... Oh man, I love Mareep. I love Mareep. Mareep! Oh, I love Mareep.
beep beep, I'm Marie. Yes, we're gonna nickname Mareep. Hmm. Beep beep, I'm Mareep. And that's not gonna work later when it- No, I sent it to the box! <laughs> no, and I have to go back and get it. All right. Uh, I need to go back and make that trade at some point, but uh, I think I'm good here. I goofed and messed up and failed to catch the mill tank as a result. I'm just going to have to live with that. So I'm assuming that was a rare opportunity to catch the, to catch the mill tank. Hooray! Pokemon Nursery. So let's do a few things. Let's, um... Charge a bug for Mareep. Uh, I'm going to keep chess around for now because I like that it can put stuff to sleep. We're leveling up you. We're leveling up you. A lot of levelers on my team right now. All right. We got hidden power. You can check the type. Yeah, let's figure out what the hidden power is on Lil P. Lil P's hidden power is Ghost. Not amazing coverage, but you know. And then let's see what it is for Beep Beep. Is it ice? That'd be great. Rock. Mm, not amazing. Already learns power gem, right? They don't get stronger or learn any moves, but I guess we're easier on your wallet. If you leave two Pokemon, sometimes you end up finding an egg. <gasps> Wait! Wait, no, 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 I do want the egg. I didn't realize you were giving me an egg. Yay! Egg, 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 egg. Uh, let's add it to my party. I want to know what this egg is. Uh, we'll drop, um chess for it sucks to lose um, hypnosis but you know I'm really excited to see what what it is when it hatches Zzzt, what's in the egg here's some help to hatch it I'm too curious to wait I'll be at your service Pokemon hatch from eggs faster now? Okay, so I'm gonna have to go uh, outside and fast forward the the video for a little bit and try and hatch this thing, because as I recall... Yup. Alright, I'll see you guys when it hatches. I started getting worried that it wasn't gonna, that maybe the old trick doesn't work. This looks new, it's got like a little background thing there. Alright, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Ah! Eevee! Alright, I like Eevee. Actually, I like Eevee a lot. I like Eevee a lot. Um, most especially because... 
it means I can have a Jolteon. And now I love Mareep. Don't get me wrong. I love Mareep. But Jolteon has my heart. It has my heart. Yeah, Jolteon's like, literally, Jolteon's the background on my computer. So, uh, and I got to. And uh, we're going... Ooh. You know what? Let's uh, let's shout out to to my boy here. I'm nicknaming this one MV because it's Evie, it's MV, it kind of GG, JJ, it's Jolteon. Careful, kid. Looks like your team could use a trip to the Pokemon Center. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my supervisor. All right, awesome. Um, so this actually would mean. Mareep should be out, but because Jolteon's not an electric type yet, I'm actually going to leave him in. Uh, Runaway and Quirky. Not the best, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, and then what's this pro trainer doing? Just telling me the, the same deal. And you know what? This episode's actually getting a little bit long, and I know I'm going to cut a lot out because there's a lot of... Um, a lot of battles... But I'm, I'm worried it's going to be a super long episode. So why don't I just end up cutting this here. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, episode 10. Uh, we got our way through Route 4. We got our way through Paniola and through Paniola Ranch. Uh, and we just got ourselves an Eevee. So uh, I'm looking forward to the prospects of as we continue. Uh, soon enough we will be in Mallow's Challenge. And uh, it's looking to be a good time. So I'll see you guys in episode 11. I'm going to go get myself some pancakes. So uh, as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.